So I got an article here. It's from Axios, so I got it on archive because I don't want to give it a click. Experts warn about rising extremism in gaming. It goes on and talks. And right here, right away, the very first sentence it tells you what to expect. Far right extremists are a growing presence in gaming, researchers have found. See right there, the second you say far right extremism is a problem, without also saying that far left extremism is a problem, I know you're not serious, but you're just trying to hand, you know, push your agenda. Because if you want to say, and I'm talking on either side, whether it's whether you think far left is worse or far right, whatever it is, if you only talk about one without also mentioning the other, or if you're questioned about the other and you act like it's, it doesn't exist or something, you're, you're you're just pushing an agenda, you know. Period. I mean, just plain and simple. Anyway, and they talk about oh the head in the sand attitudes and all that kind of shit. There was a December 2021 report from the Extremism and Gaming Research Network that found that innovative efforts to prevent and counter violent extremism in gaming spaces are nearly undetectable. And blah blah blah. And it goes on and it talks some bullshit and stuff. In games stretching from military shooters like Call of Duty to open creative environments like Roblox, extremist groups spread abusive messages and, and foster relationships. And it was experts, quote unquote. You know, it goes on and on. It, it, here's a by the numbers, it says, a 2019 report from the Anti-Defamation League, which right there, again, immediately you say, what's going on here? Because the ADO, the Anti-Defamation League, they're fucking idiots. Because they're the ones who, you know, among the first to start propagating that, uh, I think it was a 4chan, uh, more than 8chan, I think it was 4chan, I'm sure, a hoax about the OK symbol being white power and all that bullshit, which is complete bullshit, but anyway. They found that 53% of online multiplayer game players who experience harassment believe they were targeted because of their race, ethnicity, religion, ability, gender, or sexual orientation. You're combining everything in there. Because, I mean, look at that. You're, okay, you're targeted because of your race or ethnicity, or religion, or gender or sexual orientation, or your ability. The vast majority of the time, when somebody's getting, you know, shit on or whatever, it's because other people don't think they're good enough, you know, get good and all that stuff. That should not be lumped in. Your ability should not be lumped in with these other things. Because if you want to, you know, uh, target somebody because of their, their race or religion, gender, sexual orientation, whatever. Okay, you know, I, I can agree. That's wrong. You shouldn't do that. You know, people should, you know, you are who you are and all that stuff. But the ability, it's like, dude, you can't, you can't put that into the same category as, as race and sex and all that stuff. But anyway, the same report found that almost one in four players, 23%, said they had been exposed to discussions about white supremacist ideology. First off, exposed to discussions. That doesn't mean that they were being told white people were the best or whatever. They could just be talking about it. But also at the same time, again, you're only talking, if you only talk about far right extremism and, and ignore the far left extremism, which is in a lot of ways much more pervasive because it's mainstream, it's acceptable to say that white people are, are idiots. It's, it's, it's acceptable to make fun of white people, it's acceptable to make fun of men, straight people, etc. It's not okay to make fun of other groups. Which is ridiculous, because it shouldn't be okay to make fun of anybody based on their their gender, their their religion, their sexuality, their you know their their race, whatever. It's all wrong, but yet only some of it's okay. Which is one of the things that helps foster this kind of mentality with some people, because there's a lot of people out there who, quite frankly, get sick and tired of being told that they're wrong about everything, that they've had this easy life because they're white or because they're a man or whatever, you know. And you can sit here and we can sit here and argue, hey, it's, it's not right, it's not a good thing. You should you know, people shouldn't be feeling that way. Well, you know, they shouldn't. They you shouldn't, you know. You should never feel as if you've been, you know, shit on or whatever, based on something like that. It is wrong. But, you know, people gotta understand it's not just about, you know, hey, A A leads to B. Well sometimes there's extra things there's nuance basically. You know, I'm gonna, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll try to wrap this up real quick because I've already gone almost five minutes, which is longer than I was, you know, really planning. I just, I just plan on talking about this stupid crap from Axios. But anyway, 
So I'll get back to it. You know, and it goes on and talks, well, this might be a small number of players compared to the billions of players. They're a very hardened, very influential, very dangerous group of people who are living their lives in these gaming spaces with little to no consequences to their actions or behaviors. That sounds like a lot of far-left extremists as well. You know, I mean, it's ridiculous. Anyway, and of course, they, they continue on. And they talk some more about negative perceptions of video games like violence or addiction might also keep industry leaders from wanting to look too closely now how hate groups are building networks. And then they talk about some of these places, you know, they were declined to comment, they didn't have this, they didn't have that. You know, the VP of Trust and Safety Operations at Roblox, Remy Malin, said in a statement that we abhor extremist ideologies on zero tolerance for extremist content of any kind on Roblox, which is basically the way to handle it, you, know, you say, of any kind. And it goes on, that, that basically wraps it up, but it's just, to me, the, the thing I wanted to point out most is this part here. When you lump in again, I hate you know I hate to beat a dead horse, but when you lump in ability with all these other things, of course you're going to get a, the majority of people experiencing harassment. Because who hasn't played an online game and run across some dickhead who who says, "Oh, why, what the hell are you playing here for?" Or, or something like that. You know, it's ridiculous. But anyway, I'll go ahead and wrap this up here. Uh, no, again, if you talk about far right without talking about far left, you're not serious about this. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and have a good one.